Hello and welcome to Light Thursday or whatever we want to call it. Strange things happen sometimes and I am trying to be consistent. Consistent in the sense of showing up sometimes at a day like Thursdays. And what I found recently, it had been really difficult. So last week Thursday, I kind of didn't do a video at all. And yesterday, in my Thursday, was also very strange. First, I didn't feel like it. Then the power went off. And by the time the power returned, it was too dark. So as somebody who reads the signs, I am wondering, what is this consistency all about? What is it all about showing up at a particular time in a particular place? Maybe we are putting too much effort into that. Maybe it should be more effortless and free. What is your experience with consistency? What does it really mean? I'm a bit of a linguist. I, I love double meanings. I love exploring new meanings about words. So I'm wondering, consistency, contents, consistent, constant. Maybe it's overrated. And what is that showing up? I'm doing these videos so that I can share with you, so that I can support you, that we can exchange, that we can connect, that hopefully you receive something nice of, out of these videos, whether it's is to be lighter, whether it's feeling to be the light, whether it's knowing that you have a choice in everything, although it doesn't seem like that at this current situation on this planet, that you are choice, meaning that you're exquisite. I love to share with you about vitality. And for me, vitality is also the relationship with nature, with our bodies, with our mind, with our emotions. Again, something that we all struggle a little bit. We're trying to stay healthy, but really that doesn't bring us balance or happiness or peace. Consistency, what a crazy word. I'm someone who loves my praxis. So at least five days out of seven, I'm on the mat, yoga, qigong, 200 steps walking up. It's never at the same time, but I'm actually consistent. I am staying with my praxis as it's important to me. So what does it really mean, all these signs? And this is, of course, not my first video today, because the first video, by the time I got to the next part, which I will get to in a second, I realized I am not here. When we're consistent, but we're not really showing up, when I don't really feel light, when I don't really feel it's a choice, then I'm not here, I'm not present. And very interestingly, I was totally out of whack. I would say, I wasn't here. My whole body, my system, I was off. Prior, I had been reading something that I found a little bit discriminating. Prior to that, I had spoken with a friend beyond mental health, our emotional, not even well-being our emotional balance seems to be also totally off. So how can we be here when the health that is by meaning, 
definition of the word, the absence of sickness, when that doesn't work anymore, we are actually off. It takes vitality to truly be here. Like I'm here with you now. And when we hear, then we have a presence. When we are not here, that presence is not here. So this is how I stopped the video. I wasn't in my presence. I was triggered and taken by a lot of emotions and energy that is actually not mine. So are you in your presence? Are you really here? When we learn to act in an acting school, you learn how to have a stage presence. And it's not the easiest thing. But in life, we actually don't learn so much presence. Sometimes we show up because we need to be consistent, because the expectations tell us to arrive, to work on time or to work from home at a certain time and to certain rules or regulations and with certain consistency. But are we really here? So I'm putting this out to you today. This was supposed to be a little meditation, but what can I do when spirit talks, when we read the signs, the silver lining, then sometimes things come out differently. And yes, it's related to light. When you are really in your presence, you are able to connect in that presence. You can be presentness. So acting from a place of being fully present. Presence from your presence. And that's consciousness, that's awareness. That's being here. Here, right now, with you at whatever time you may listen to that. So I would like to share with you today just a little bit of sound that hopefully helps you to find your presence, to ponder and to wonder how you can truly be here in the midst of turmoil, fear, and whatever else you are experiencing. The presence and the vitality, the choice and the light may help to dissolve what seems to be happening on your outer world. So when I'm sitting here on this little, no, it's not a little, it's a big root. I usually carry the small flutes because it's easier. And so today I would like to take you within, to that presence within. And maybe today we start with a little bit of breathing. Breath is maybe one of the things that really help us to get centered, to find a way within. And recently I've been reading a very funny story between the heart and the mind, the gut, and the recommendation to go into the lungs and into your breath. Yes, the breath is one of the most powerful ways of finding your presence. So let's start to breathe today. If you are a yogi, you can sit in a lotus or whatever seat you want to sit. If you want to feed your on the ground, that's also good. In order to get kind of straight, it's always good to do kind of a shoulder loop and then just allow the body to find its position. 
I'm inviting you to close your eyes for this. Become present in your space, in your time, in your environment, wherever you are. Allow yourself to be like enveloped in a beautiful sacred space. Just a beautiful ball of light coming around you. And now focus on your breath. And as you inhale, say to yourself, all I am, hold and make a pause. And as you exhale, is my breath. Pause and inhale, all I am. Pause and is my breath. All I am. Is my breath. All I am. Is my breath. Just continue. And in one of these gaps, these pauses, imagine you're falling within into your sacred heart, into your I am. your consciousness. That timeless, formless you that has always existed, that was always here. It has just chosen to come into this body to be that breath. All I am is my breath. And then all I am is my presence. All I am. is my presence. Notice, this is your consciousness. Beyond your body, beyond your mind, beyond your life, beyond your breath. And allow the flute to take you into your presence, into your I am. Always here, just waiting for you to connect.
Inhale, I am. Exhale, present. Just enjoy being here, not just in this body, but in your presence, in your consciousness, in your I am. And then slowly bring your consciousness back. I hope that helped you a little bit. I hope you feel your presence. Yes, things are not always easy. And yes, we are living in this world, in this energy, in these emotions, in these thoughts, and everything is energy. And yes, we need to find a way to navigate, a way to ride the wave, a wave that is actually light. Where we're going is a transition into an age of light, into the worlds of the heart that I finally understood now, into a consciousness that takes us out of where we are right now. But in order to, to get there, it's really important that we find our presence, that we can step beyond that beautiful physical body that serves us so well, that allows us to do so many things and to enjoy this life. Let us not lose that gift. Let us not forget that it's actually fabulous to be here. So, have a beautiful day, evening, morning, wherever you are. I'm grateful I could share with you today. Grateful to connect with you. So much love from my heart to yours. See you soon.